Hello, hi, how are you today? So why are women the leaders of Twin Flames stuff? I'll tell you why. It's because the potential to give life, hold life, give life. Okay, so that might sound very academic, like, well, of course we have the potential. So even if someone's not wanting to, or they made other choices, or they have a brood of children or whatever, there's a lot of potentials in your body. And your body has a lot of DNA permutations. Okay, but you're still you. You're not just a brood mare. You're not just here to be bred or for breeding. Not anymore. Maybe at one time, somewhere in history, somewhere in Europe, somewhere during Genghis Khan's empire. I don't know, wherever. <laughs> but the point is, is that you don't have to do it anymore. It's on the move. So a lot of people do become aware. I shouldn't say people. Women generally become aware, regardless of their sexual orientation, whether they're trans, if you've still got ovaries and a uterus somewhere inside you, you're going to be aware of changes. Now, those changes are on purpose, and the changes are happening, quite frankly, to ascend you. What? Yeah. It's happening to ascend you so that you don't have to be connected to the same old collective anymore. The same monad, which is your group of souls that you've originated from, the same points of origin, etc. Now, here's the even weirder part. Life doesn't happen unless, guess what, man gives it the electric energy. Now, this is... This lies in the real core of the issue of how can a woman conceive, not have a big O, a man can have a big O, and he feels irresponsible. That happens a lot. That happens a lot. And women are left with responsibilities, and, you know, not every man takes responsibility for his stuff. This is not to man bash. This is to explain why you're so important for ascension and another reason why Twin Flame Ascension is important and starting with the females first, who we call Divine Feminine. But let's be real here. We have to get rid of our toxic femininity, some of which is out there. If a female is way too electric, she starts looking for whoever she can plug into to balance her. And a lot of times that's not happening. If a woman is a magnetic, she starts looking around for... Who's going to plug into her and many times gets overloaded and overwhelmed? So how do we stop this? Well, first of all, it has to happen from within. And it's way too trite to just say, like, everything you need is within you. Everything you need is inside, dear. No, I'm going to tell you how this works. How it works is your other half is seated inside you. They are in you. Their etheric body is in you. This is why you feel things. Even when you're looking at a false twin and you're scratching your head going like, why am I feeling this? And they're doing that. Like it, it doesn't jibe, right? Or people will feel like they're having some kind of weird telepathy or weird phantom sensations. And again, we're in the season of some weirdnesses, but it doesn't have to be something that's really out of the box. Your other is inside you. This accounts for their lifestyle, their habits, who they're sleeping with, what they're doing. And while this may not be news to you, you have to do something about it. You do have to separate yourself sufficiently so that they are dealing with their stuff while you ascend. Okay? You have to ascend. Okay? This one, or it could be another female and female, but this one, he has to go deal with their stuff. So you pull your stuff away. Do, 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 do. They're going to go deal with their stuff. And you have to keep ascending. Why am I doing this? Because you need to get the hell out of here. You need to get out of the old paradigm. You need to be free. You need to not be shackled. You need uh, financial freedom, financial wellness, independence. You need fire, financial independence, retire early. You need all that stuff, and on top of it, you need real love, okay? You're not here for 
your other half to drag you down. You're not going to get sucked into that stuff anymore. All of the like dealing with the physical sensations of all kinds of physical stuff, hangovers, medications, uh, drugs, alcohol, moods, emotions, you name it. Okay. Arguments with people. Trust me, I have felt it all and you don't want to feel this. We want to do this the best way possible for you. So what should I do? Ah, glad you asked. Please join my class. Well, what's in your class? Well, first of all, we're going to focus right here, right here, right by your liver, right over your liver, because that, my dear, is a huge, 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 huge alchemy point. You can't have hatred accumulated there or resentments or any of the other low emotional stuff on the lower spectrum where people think you have an issue or an attitude. We got to get rid of that. You need to clear. We need that up leveled for you. We need it to function like it's really supposed to function. But isn't that my will? Well, here's what happens. Your will is actually up here with your high heart stuff, your crown, your intelligence. But I am already intelligence. So you're going to be super intelligent when you start integrating your light body. You're going to have flashes of insight and you are going to have protection like you wouldn't even believe. But I want to have babies one day. How would you love for those babies to be super babies, super gifted, healthy babies without any of the damaged DNA? Well, that would be lovely. There's things that run in my family and, you know, oh gosh, I just wouldn't want to have to be related to someone. You mean the same soul group? Like it's, they're too close. Yeah. Sometimes it's too close for comfort and you wind up with birth defects or you wind up with the ill effects of whatever that other person has been doing. What is their lifestyle? Do they smoke? Do they do drugs? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I never thought about it that way. Yeah, because a lot of people just think like, well, it's, you know, one or two cigarettes or it's one or two drinks. There is a accumulation effect that really drags people down. Oh, my God. So how much have I accumulated over my entire existence? Girl, can we dish now? We There's a lot. There's a lot. But guess what? What? I have the way to get rid of this. I have the way to remove. And when you integrate literally in, 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 there's parts here that need to support you. There's parts here on your heart that need to support you. You lift up and you stay up and you stay up and you stay in a level where you can maintain easily. How easy is it for me to maintain? Don't worry, I have an entire daily routine that is easily broken down for you to do. But does it mean I have to become like a nun? No, it doesn't. Does it mean I can't enjoy things? I mean, I'm a little bit sociable. I like to be an outgoing person, do things, yes. But what happens for people on their ascension is they try to do those things without ascending they feel like an empath. They feel like everything is closing in and, and it's too much. It feels overwhelming instead of enjoyable. I don't want to be an empath. I, you know, I just like people pride themselves, but the more I read about it, it is not fun. There is a lot of stuff that is not fun. It's downright painful. ADHD, OCD, being an empath, not fun, not glam, and very easily removed so you have the way to do this not only that but i have the way for you to stay up and cruise along until the next level until you're ready for that next level the next stage of your twin flamey journey yeah this is such a journey i if anyone had told me i would have said no thank you but i guess i'm already in it yes you are in it to win it and that's what we're going to do. We are going to be in it to win it. So women, because you carry many star markers, you carry essential connections, you carry the seeds of life quite literally for the most part. You carry the things that are important, particularly the magnetic energy to, to scoop up because that's part of what magnetic does scoop up and lift up 
who's in this to win this. I know you can do this and I know what you have in you and I've seen people be successful and I'm not, I'm talking about everyone. There's quite a diversity of people that I've helped. I've helped people who've had female circumcision. They feel again, they sense again, they have big O's again. They feel a sense of not just forgiveness, but that it's fully been removed from them and it was a past life. I help people who have had very terrible relationships and they feel renewed and rejuvenated and as though that was the last bastion of bastardy assholishness that they've ever had to deal with, okay? I've helped people where they have issues in their family and get over it. Recently, I have helped some people regain the money that they thought was going to be lost and at the 11th hour, the mindsets flipped and they got what was due to them, okay? Wasn't over and above, wasn't any extra, but they weren't cheated. And these are the kind of things that happen when people are integrating their light body, maintaining their health. It's you. It's not even just the body. It's another part of your health. So I hope to see you there. Please look at the links down below. And every time a bell rings, someone gets their wings. Bye.